in this video I'm going to show you how to quickly and correctly change a string and I'm going to take the Ray Chen string changing challenge for concerts. <laughs> So I'm sitting on a rock by the ocean and it's always a great time to reflect. Sitting here makes me think about my goals and life, inspirational thoughts. Sometimes I go down a little bit of a rabbit hole like that time that Ray Chen's E string broke in a concert. I wonder how long it would take me to change an E string. So I'm going to challenge myself and see how long it'll take me to change an E string. Okay, I have to change the strings on this instrument. Just quickly, I will be doing a service at a later date, uh, so it's not the cleanest. So only ever change one string at a time. When you take all the strings off, you actually risk the sound post falling over. I'm just going to change the E string on this violin because that's the one that breaks the most off. So first of all, you have to take the string off. And uh, I do that like this. Then I check that the peg turns smoothly, which uh, this one does. If it doesn't, I put on peg paste like that. I use uh, Hills peg paste and I literally just put a little bit on the shiny part of the peg and then turn the peg back into the hole. Now it's time to get the E string. Here it is. Uh, I'll just get it out of the packet. Here we go. Now, Ray Chen uses um, domestic strings on his, his instrument. I am putting evaporazzi on this one. So the first thing you need to be doing is you need to loop the string into the fine tuner here. And then you just get a bit of tension on the string so it doesn't come back out. Then you put the string into the hole of the peg. Put the string into the hole, and push it through slightly so it sticks out the other side. Then you wind the string over itself, make sure it's right up against the peg box, and then wind it on all the way. And because it's wound on so beautifully up against the peg box, it actually stops the peg from slipping out. And I thought, wouldn't it be weird if I got dropped into that concert and had to change that string? You know, I mean, he passes to first the concert master and then the associate concert master. I wonder what she thought. Uh, okay, so I'm sitting here holding a $10 million Strat. Okay, hope he doesn't ask me to change the string. Oh no, oh no, he's getting a string at oh, oh no, no, he's throwing it at me. Uh, okay, okay, I've got a $10 million Strad E string. Got to change the E string on the $10 million Strad. Uh, uh, uh. Anyway, if you are an associate concert master, you better get good at changing E strings. <laughs> it might happen to you. What I will do is I will pop the string on the floor because that way uh, I'm kind of doing the same kind of thing. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to pop the string on the floor, so I have to pick it up from down there. And uh, now first thing I'm going to have to do, and, and I really hate doing this, but I'm going to get an old pair of scissors. And my guess is that Ray's string broke somewhere about here. Oh, this is so horrible. I, I hate doing this. Ah! Okay, it worked. It worked. Now, part of the string actually shot over here. So, I won't be able to remove that, but there's this bit. But, I mean, taking the string off out here is pretty, at the uh, fine tuner, is pretty easy. Now, these fine tuners, uh, this is a different type of tailpiece than Ray Chen has. He would just have a single fine tuner. But, uh, Okay, here we go. So I'm now going to imagine that the associate concert master just passed me Ray Chen's Strad. Don't worry, this is not a Strad. This is one of my most beautiful Pierre Lamont violins, which I, which actually sound really nice. Um, 
and I'm sorry about the E string. I did use an old E string, so I don't feel so bad about it. Uh, but it'll be getting a nice new E string. Okay, here we go. So we're going to imagine violin being passed over in three, two, one, go. Okay, so first thing, take string off, grab new string, take string out of packet, put string in down the bottom here, put string in at the peg, and normally I'd use use peg pace but in this case I'm not going to do that wind it over and put the little thing on here you go Ray it's done so anyway so sometimes it would be quite handy having a violin maker sitting in the front row of uh, of the uh, concert uh, so the you know the violinist can just pass it down here change the string and then pass it back but you are not gonna get that so you have to learn how to change your own string and also you have to make sure that you always have a set of strings in your violin case in case something like this happens and you know you might even be able to help out a soloist if they forgot to put a string in their pockets i do have to say that ray uh, has broken a few e strings during concerts so he is actually quite good at doing that remember to hit the like button and subscribe and hit the little bell and uh, and go and sit on a rock in nature every now and then because it can be so inspiring just to sit here and listen to the sounds of nature. And it's good to unplug every now and then. I think it's really important. Anyway, see you next time.